In this part, I took the consolidated income statement, the cost of sales table, and the expiration cost table, and combined them to give a total expanded price per ounce to produce silver. The spreadsheet for this video in the link below also contains a total cost breakdown for gold and a cost per ounce breakdown for gold and silver in 2011. In 2012, Fresnil's cost per ounce to produce silver breaks down the following way. The adjusted revenue before treatment and refining costs was $31.43 per ounce. Treatment and refining costs were $1.78 per ounce for a total revenue per ounce of silver after treatment and refining costs of $29.65 per ounce. There were cost of sales expenses. Cost of sales includes production, exchange rate hedges, and changes in work, which is work in progress and in-house inventories. Total cost of sales per ounce in 2012 was $11.09 per ounce. Breaking that down, there were depreciation, depletion, and amortization expenses of $3.49 per ounce. There were personnel expenses of $1.51 per ounce. There were maintenance and repair costs of $1.07 per ounce. There were operating material costs of $1.61 per ounce. There were energy costs of $1.27 per ounce. There were contractor costs of $2.63 per ounce. There were freight costs of $0.12 per ounce. There were insurance costs of $0.08 per ounce. There were mining rights and contribution costs of $0.10 cents per ounce. There were other miscellaneous costs of $0.19 cents per ounce. There was also a $0.03 cent per ounce loss in foreign exchange hedges and a credit of $1.02 per ounce from changes in work for a total cost of sales of $11.09 per ounce. Subtracting the cost of sales of $11.09 per ounce from the total after refining revenue of $29.65 per ounce gives a gross profit of $18.56 per ounce. There were also exploration expenses of $3.21 per ounce. Breaking that down, there were contractor costs of $2.65 per ounce, there were administration costs of $0.15 per ounce, there were mining rights and contribution costs of $0.13 per ounce, there were personnel expenses of $0.05 per ounce, there were SA costs of $0.12 per ounce, there were maintenance and repair costs of $0.01 per ounce, there were operating material costs of four cents per ounce. There were rental costs of three cents per ounce. There were energy costs of one cent per ounce. There were other miscellaneous costs of two cents per ounce for a total exploration cost of three dollars and twenty-one cents per ounce. In addition, in 2012, there were general administration costs of seventy-three cents per ounce, selling expenses of nine cents per ounce. There was some income earned from operation of nine cents per ounce. There were some miscellaneous expenses of twenty-four cents per ounce. Subtracting the exploration and miscellaneous costs from the gross profit of $18.56 per ounce gives a profit from continuing operations of $14.38 per ounce. There was income from financing of $0.17 per ounce. There was cost from financing of $0.05 per ounce. There were more costs from foreign currency hedges of $0.12 per ounce. Adding these three final costs and expenses to the profit for continuing operations of $14.38 per ounce gives a pre-tax profit that is still $14.38 per ounce. Taxes in 2012 were $3.92 per ounce. Net profit per ounce of silver produced in 2012 was $10.46 per ounce. 